Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Excel, you can cut or copy data from cells and then paste the data into other cells. Cells that contain numeric or text entries can be moved wherever you would like. The only trick is when you need to cut or copy cells that contain formulas. When you copy and paste formulas to a new location within your workbook, the formulas will automatically adjust their cell references to fit their new location. For example, if you typed a formula into cell H5 that added together the cells C5 through G5, and then you copy and you paste that formula from cell H5 into H6, then the newly copied formula would change its cell references to add cells C6 through G6. This is an example of relative referencing. This is the default cell referencing that occurs when copying formulas. Formulas that are copied and pasted will automatically adjust their cell references to fit their new location. However, when you cut and paste a formula in Excel, the formula will still maintain its reference to its original cells regardless of where you paste it. This is an example of absolute referencing. When you cut and paste formulas, they will still refer to their original cell range, even from their new location. Both types of referencing can be very useful to you depending on the type of worksheet you're trying to create. However, when creating a single formula that contains multiple cell references, the need may arise to allow some of the references within the formula to be relative references that adjust, while others need to be absolute references that never adjust. In this case, it's useful to realize that you can change any cell reference within a formula into an absolute reference by simply placing a dollar sign in front of both the column letter and the row number within the cell reference. This is handy when you have a formula that contains a cell reference that you don't want to change when you copy the formula to a new location within the workbook. For example, assume that you wanted to copy a formula that adds together the five cells to its left and then multiplies that result by the value that is stored in cell A1. If you create the reference to cell A1 as an absolute reference within the formula, meaning it would be dollar sign A, dollar sign 1, then when you copy and paste that formula to a new location in the workbook, it will add together whatever five cells appear to its left, and then multiply that result by the value in cell A1, no matter where you copy the formula. You can also edit a formula that you have already created to change the cell referencing that is used by the formula. To do this, double click the formula to edit it. Then select the cell reference within the formula bar, not the actual cell, that you would like to change to an absolute reference or a relative reference or a mixed reference. Then press the F4 key on your keyboard to toggle the cell reference between the three types of cell referencing available. You have mixed, which is part absolute and part relative. You also have absolute and relative. For example, you could toggle a reference to cell A1 to the relative reference, which is just A1, or dollar sign A dollar sign 1, which is absolute, or A dollar sign 1, which is a mixed, or dollar sign A1, which is another mixed reference. And that would occur each time you pressed F4 on your keyboard. Once you're finished editing the reference, just press enter on your keyboard or the enter check mark in the formula bar to save your function. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.